Hey guys, welcome to another cooking with Shab. Today we're going to be making baked bacon mac and cheese. I'm about to put y'all on game. The secret ingredient to the best baked macaroni and cheese is definitely buttermilk. So that's what's going to be essential in the recipe. So before you start, you're going to get your elbow macaroni and you're going to cook it per the box instructions. I used half a box. You can use all the, um, you can use the entire box. This is a lot of cheese sauce. Then you're going to, while that's cooking, you're going to cook your bacon. I use real bacon. You can use turkey bacon, but I really want to use real bacon. Once your macaroni is finished cooking, you're going to put it in your oven dish. Whatever you're going to bake it in, put that cooked macaroni in there. And then you're going to add one egg and one teaspoon of butter. If you use the entire box, you're going to use two teaspoons of butter. Okay, then you're going to mix that together get that all the way incorporated you know and then you're gonna put that to the side now on to the cheese sauce so you're gonna get your secret ingredients your buttermilk you know it's essential not regular milk not half and half buttermilk then you're gonna use Clancy's block cheese melt you're gonna use about 90% of that listen I don't do quick maths if you can do quick maths, you should know that, like, you know, 90%. So, like, just leave a little bit of the cheese. You don't need the full block, which is crazy, but that 10% makes a difference. You don't need all that. Then you're going to get a half a package of Colby Jack, and you're going to put it in there, and you're going to let that melt. You want to do this step by step and let every cheese melt before adding more cheese, okay? Constantly stir because it, it will burn. It, it does burn. So, it happens on medium heat, constantly stirring. Then you're going to get you some sharp cheddar. You're going to get a half a package of sharp cheddar. And you're just going to throw that in there. And you're going to make sure you constantly stir. Constantly stir. All these cheeses are the shredded cheese. Then you're going to use half a package of mozzarella. I love mozzarella in like everything. Honestly, I feel like mozzarella just gives it like a... It like That's the... That's the cheese that, that makes the difference, like, consistency-wise. So, your cheese should look like this, all ooby-gooey and bomb, okay? Make sure you really separate it, because mozzarella seems to, like, always stick together. So, make sure you constantly stir and, like, really just whisk that together, okay? So, it should be look ooby-gooey. Then, you're going to get your black pepper. You use as much black pepper as your taste buds want. You're going to constantly taste and stir, okay? Then you're going to also add paprika. Those are the two spices you're using, black pepper and paprika. Those are the only two seasons you need. Trust. Then you're going to stir. And then you're going to taste. Then you're going to be like, okay, I want it a little more spicy. Okay, this is good. So you season it to your taste preferences. Then you're going to, once you get your flavor all good, and then you're going to get your bacon, you're going to crumble it up, and you're going to use about three-fourths of your cooked bacon. You're not going to use all of it, but you're going to use a majority of it. Again, I don't know quick math, so y'all figure out what three-fourths look like. As you can see, it looks like that. So you just mix it in, make sure it's fully in there, and it's it's really good. Okay, it's essential to, to put the bacon. So then now you're back to your macaroni. You're going to pour your cheese sauce in. Okay, use a spoon. I don't know what I was thinking using the whisk, but as you can see, I spartaned up. I was like, okay, this is not working. So, <laughs> I use my spoon, and you're going to fully incorporate the cheese sauce with the macaroni, okay? And you, you, you want this cheese sauce to be filled to the very top, okay? You, because, like, the macaroni will suck up the cheese sauce. So, you want it to be, like, full to the top of cheese sauce, like. You can tell it can fit more cheese sauce. So you're just going to keep adding, 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 adding. Trust me, the more, the merrier, okay? It's, this cheese sauce is amazing. Um, Be careful because this is messy. As you can see, yeah, it's very messy. But just make sure you fully stir it and it's fully incorporated and it's fully packed with cheese sauce like show. Then you're going to get your, the, your rest of the, your shredded sharp cheddar 
and you're going to pack that baby right on top of that, right? So then, after it's packed on, it's going to like that. It's going to look like just, just like that. And no spaces, no emptiness. You don't want to see no macaroni, no cheese, no nothing. It's going to be fully covered with shredded cheese. Then you're going to bake in the oven for 375 for 45 minutes. Once that is done, you're going to take the rest of your chopped bacon, sprinkle that on top, and then boom, you have your baked bacon mac and cheese. And the sharp cheddar that you put on top of it gives it like this crust, like this crispy crust on top, and then you just dig into it. It's creamy, it's ooey gooey, it's bomb. Like my kids loved it. Like my husband doesn't eat pork, but me and the kids, we devoured this. He, he actually had some because it smelled that good. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Give me some suggestions of what y'all want me to cook. Like, I'm, I can think of stuff, but it's fun to interact with you guys and just know what you guys want to see. Bye!